Chicken, salmon, and steak. Fire. Low calories. Fire. This was like the little salmon spring salad. I have a piece of salmon right here. I just got one of that, but low key, I might not want that. You can tell by the title what today's video is going to be about. So let's get straight into it. Today we are going to be unboxing my iPad Air. Give me it, girl. Um, I just got it yesterday. I'm not going to lie to y'all. 
this is not going to be a true unboxing because I had took off the plastic to kind of open it already. But I put everything back in the box how I got it and we're going to unbox it together. So I'm not even going to waste y'all time. We're going to jump right into the video. So let's get into it. Big Purr comes in this bag with the strings, okay? Period. I'm going to sit it right here. Also, I'm getting my hair done soon hopefully so bear with me we just got this headband on situation but she's cute she's cute so first i'm gonna go ahead and unbox my apple pencil i got an apple pencil is it even like okay um this was 139 dollars um it's the second generation one, so it charges on the actual iPad. Shout out to Slay by Say. She slayed my nails. You see them? You see them? Yeah. Do not play with that girl because she is not one of them, okay? Um, so this is the pencil. It came with like a plastic wrapping around it, and it comes with this little tab. You just pull it out. Hey. Okay, so it has this thing. It says designed by Apple in California period and then you just pull this part up inside of here let's see i think inside of here is really just like the basic instructions on how to use the pencil so it shows you where to charge it how to change from like eraser pen and then you can change the tip out i don't know what i would be needing to change the tip out for i haven't done that much research but we shall see you know all of the like safety and handling how to bluetooth it um the battery how to clean it um all that good jazz in multiple different languages on this paper and then this one is about uh the warranty so you have like a one year warranty i guess if it messes up or anything like that you can get a new one possibly that's all that comes in that little box here. Going on three years now, um, I've been doing everything in journals. I have like different journals. I started with one journal. It was like more of a notepad that I was using at work when I used to work at Amazon. Then I bought like another cute little journal and I was using that to like track my inventory and like brainstorm names and shit like that. Then once I kind of like really advanced in my lash career and stuff, I upgraded to another journal and that one I was really doing like every month um, color coding and like all that good jazz. I'm gonna look for my journal and try to show y'all. So I had this journal right here. I literally just got like a Walgreens or a CVS. And then my nephews wrote all in it. So this was honestly cherry on top. I was like, you know what? I'm not even finna play with y'all. But you can see I put like my travel, like the dates I would travel and stuff, content creation, finances, how much I wanted to make, how much I need to make, fun things I want to do. Like it was just a giant book. I had my health, like my workout plan schedule a checklist like september throw a lot of stuff away my investments in my camera how much i pay for it, stuff like that um inventory like i tracked all my inventory for all my supplies um things i needed to rework um 2022 goals like my journal like and you can see the pages like how many i got up to you see those <laughs> use up pages but honestly like i use i use it a lot um and it helps me stay accountable. It helps me stay on track. It helps me feel productive even when maybe I don't have much to do in my day, but writing it out, at least you wrote it out and you check things off of your list and you got things done. So a journal really helps me as an entrepreneur, like plan and organize my life out and just jot down ideas, see what worked for me, see what didn't work for me, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So then, you know, my nephews wrote in that one, so I got another one. Let me show you that one. So this is my newer one that I got while I was in Washington, and it's just so pretty. I love the green and pink, like green and pink is chef's kiss, pink and brown, like, you know what I'm saying? And then it has the notes here in gold. My nails are just really popping. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, so um, I started using this. This is literally the only page that I have written in it 
but it's brand new and I am definitely still gonna put this to use. It may be for something else, but I really love this one and it's like a hard, um, and it's like fabric material. So I like this one. But like I said, going on three years with my business i've noticed that i'm just more of a hands-on person and like like i said color coding organizing really has helped me stay on task and um i'm trying to get better with my content creation i have a macbook oh it's right here i have a, a macbook pro the 13 inch one um but when it comes to like creating flyers and editing videos my attention span honestly isn't the greatest when it comes to sitting down and messing with the keyboard so i honestly felt like i would do better with an ipad so i can hands-on visually sit there draw move things around with my finger or whatever the case may be um so that is why i decided to gift myself now this is the pen or the pencil whatever you want to call it right here got my this shit ain't finished up i got my apple pencil okay second generation it's cute fits right in your hand period um and yeah that's the pencil i do want to look on etsy and get a cute uh pencil cover for my pencil i've seen some cute ones so i'm gonna look up now let's get into the main grow and the main grow of the show to start the show my ipad okay so honestly i am not one of the girls that's finna get a pink ipad like it's cute trust me but i just don't be in that mood every day all day like you see i'm matching my blue eyeliner with my blue shirt but tomorrow it might be an all black natural beat type of day like i just never know how i'm gonna be so i went ahead and got the space gray so it came in this box here um it's the 64 gigabyte um ipad air fifth generation so we'll go ahead and open this box up i really plan on getting in my digital uh digital like graphics digital media bag uh, with my editing and my flyers and all that stuff so um yeah i'm just i think this is going to be a great investment going into 2023 and with all of my goals and i think just really giving boom here is my baby in here we're gonna go ahead and take it out the box and we're gonna set it aside just for a second. Underneath you have this, it says designed by Apple in California, just like the little uh, pencil. And I think inside of here is like the same stuff that's in the other one. So basic information, like volume buttons, power button, how to take a screenshot, um, how to get your control center about your Apple pencil, um, XYZ, XYZ, battery safety handling, then it comes with two Apple stickers. Cute, probably won't be using that. And then this is the thing that you use um, for the Sims card, if you wanna put a Sims card in there. Then underneath there, you have period, a lightning charger in the US. I think this is called a USC port type charger. And this one is a double-ended uh, USC port, so. For your iPad Air, you can't use like the iPhone charger. It takes, it requires this special type of charger. And it comes with a lightning charger. My favorite, cause it just works so well. And that's it. So I got it in space gray. So nice. I'm like, I'm trying to, I'm gonna get a picture for the little thumbnail <laughs> but this is the ipad i love the size like it's the perfect size i feel like um this is what it looks like um i already have a passcode on there i can't show y'all that and then i was sketching earlier honestly just um like playing around <laughs> I made this goofy character. Cool characters. Okay, first. 
but yeah so i still have to get my icloud set up i think i'm gonna make a whole brand new icloud for this ipad um just so it's separate from everything else um since this will be like my business ipad her i gotta get me a cute case for it and accessories um really excited to start using it finally um Oh, I'm gonna do another video once I figure out how to customize my like widgets and all that cute stuff that I'll be seeing the girls do. I'm gonna do a video on like a what's on my iPad so I can show you all the apps that I have on here and how I have everything kind of laid out and set up uh, for what I'm going to be doing. Stay tuned for another video. Why did I choose the iPad Air? I think my only iPad I had was literally the very first iPad that came out probably when I was like 13 and got this iPad iPad. It was between this one and like the iPad 10 of course because I guess the iPad 10 is the newer one that comes with all the different colors um, So I was looking between the iPad Air and the iPad 10 and then the 9 Because um, the 9 doesn't come in colors. I believe only the 10 and like the mini the reviews that I Watched I figured this iPad was the best for what it is that I want to do I want to use this iPad for content creation. So the picture resolution and the um, like the retina display, the colors, the vibrancy in the actual like screen itself is better than the iPad 10 um, as I kind of like researched. And if I wanted to get into Photoshop and video editing, which is exactly what I want to do, um, this was the better option. Also, this iPad, you can charge the pencil on the side of the iPad, so it's like a, mag a magnet, and you can charge the pencil on the side of the iPad, which the iPad 10 is not compatible with the second generation pencil. So that means I would have to buy a different charger port for the uh the apple pencil and then i would have to charge the apple pencil separately from the ipad and honestly that is too much if you've seen my um extension cord hookup with all the different charging things that i have my macbook my camera my phone my watch my airpods like it's just too much so i was like okay the air i'll be able to charge my pens my pencil i want to call it a pen so bad it's a marker down the highlighter i'd be able to charge it on the iPad and I think that's more convenient and it's like a place to store it all in one it keeps everything together and if you're on the go and your pencil is dying literally you can use your iPad to charge it so there was a lot of pros that I seen in getting the iPad Air opposed to the 10 as far as the color goes like like I said I get bored of color easily so I'll probably just have a bunch of cases for my iPad that's different colors but I love this space gray it's getting very much chic clean cut it grow material grow dark aesthetic and I'm here for it I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Leave a thumbs up, comment below if you guys have any questions. Um, make sure you turn on your post reminders for my page so you can get updated with any new videos that are to come, especially the uh, what's on my iPad video because that will be coming out soon, shortly after this video. Um, make sure you follow me on all socials. Everything will be linked down below. I'll also be linking these eyelashes. If you made it to the end of this video, you can use the code honey yt i'll put that down here and you can use that code for 40 percent off of lashes on my website so this is a secret coupon between you and i if you made it this far in the video and you can go and cop this style lashes i'll have them linked down below because they're very much giving giving to them giving to them very much fluffy very much giving volume set but in a strip lash period um and thanks so much for watching see ya